How does your work intersect with the five love languages? Well, well, first, let me say, Gary Chapman, I love him. I know him. He's a great man. His message doesn't explain, doesn't take into consideration men and women are different. All of the five love languages, if you want to list them out for everybody, bottom line is every woman needs every one of those things. Those love languages all produce estrogen. Now, we men like estrogen, but we become very lazy with estrogen. So I have a different version of love languages in terms of uh, different forms of love, different from the way he looks at it. And it is, there's appreciation is a form of love. Acceptance is a form of love. Trusting someone is a form of love. Caring about someone is a form of love. Listening and understanding where they're coming from in a non-judgmental way is a form of love. Respecting someone, honoring them, putting them above you, uh, serving them is respect. That's a form of love. So I just looked at it. First of all, it took me a long time to figure these things out without the understanding of hormones. But now I can just say very simply, whenever you appreciate someone, their testosterone goes up. Whenever you forgive someone, accept them just as they are, they don't have to be better, they're fine. Acceptance, uh, their testosterone goes up, whether you're a man or woman. And if you're trusted, someone depends on you to get the job done. I come home, my wife, he's here, he's finally here, great. You know, it's like men of the day. Uh, someone's depending on you. That is testosterone going up. Also, women get that experience. Why they can so much give to children is because children look to their mother as like a god. You know, it's a trusting you so much. So women appreciate these, these forms of love too, but men need 10 times more. Trust, acceptance, appreciation, because they stimulate testosterone in our body. What stimulates estrogen in women is demonstrating caring. When I'm caring for her, prioritizing her, hearing her, doing things in consideration, opening car door. And just with that one, I remember Bonnie, I opened the car door and sometimes she said, you know, I can do that. And I said, of course you can do that. But honey, you give so much to everybody. Let me just give to you tonight. Mm -hmm. And on a romantic day, always opening the door and going around and opening the door to get her out. The appreciation is testosterone. What I did by opening the car door, the first of all, is respecting her, understanding she does so much for so many people. It's nice to have somebody take care of you and show demonstration of caring. So you see all the romantic rituals of the past, traditional romantic rituals, were social engineering so that men could raise women's estrogen twice as much, <laughs> okay? And men's testosterone goes up twice as much if he does something, provides something for her and she appreciates it. So I take my wife to the movies and she says, wow, that was an amazing movie. My testosterone's off the chart. I'm feeling, yeah, I wrote that movie. I produced that movie. I directed that movie. That's my movie. And if the movie's bad, I'm kind of like, oh my God. And, <laughs> and if every man knows that feeling. And then we go to the movie, we're leaving. And I say, honey, well, did you like the movie? And she says, she says, oh, she pa she'll pause. And she says, that sunset scene was really wonderful. And I go, yeah, I had nothing to do with the movie. I just... <laughs> camera guy I picked that scene <laughs> you know so so it's being playful with each other the same way like uh a woman says you know do you see this cellulite honey can you love that I said, honey I love you I don't even see cellulite so I don't even see it I give you see there's times to be loving and generous with our love and not dwell on just practicality of reality